Hey guys, what's up? How are you? Hope that you guys are having an amazing one today. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the Valentino Concealer. I purchased mine directly from their website. I do see that it's now available on the Sephora website. And just in case you haven't seen it, here is the packaging. Packaging with Valentino makeup is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love the pop of red. Really classic, really beautiful. I did get mine in the shade LA2, which is Lie with Warm Undertones and this is the applicator. So I do think that it is going to be a little bit light for my skin tone, but we're still going to try it. I do also have the foundation that we are going to apply just because I did ask you guys if you guys wanna see the review and the wear test with the foundation and you guys say yes, so that is what I'm going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and get into the video, but before we do, just in case you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jarell. Please don't forget to like and of course subscribe to my channel if you have not already and without further ado, let's get onto the video. So the description on the website at Sephora says that it is a multi-use creamy lightweight concealer that delivers medium coverage and that brightens skin's radiance for a creaseless finish that lasts all day. It is recommended for normal, dry, and combination skin. So I'm using this Ola Henriksen primer to prime my face. So let's go ahead and start with the foundation. I did do a whole entire review on this foundation and I will link it down below. This foundation is in the shade MA3. Here is the foundation and here is the concealer. You can see that it is really far away from one another when it comes to shade. If you guys hear anyone snoring, it's my husband. He's right behind this. All right, so again, here is a swatch of the concealer and let's go ahead and now apply it. I am going to have to just buy a different shade. I might keep this one just because I do like to brighten things up sometimes. I like my concealer to be a little bit closer to my skin tone, so I might have to go to the store and just get a different shade altogether. So these are the areas that I usually add concealer just to cover the discoloration around my nose. And of course, give me that coverage under my eyes and just to create that lifted effect. I feel like this concealer is very sheer because I can still see through it. And usually when it's a full coverage, it's like it gives you a really nice layer of it. You're not able to see any of the brush marks or anything like that. So yeah, definitely on the sheer side. I am going to blend this side with a brush and I try to avoid applying the foundation really close to my eye area just because I want to make sure that we are testing this concealer out very much like we should. So I feel like it was drying down a little bit too quickly but it's still as you can see I'm able to move the product around. It is a little bit lighter than what I am used to but we can still make it work. So now I'm going to blend out this area right here with my sponge. All right, so I do see a little bit of redness peeking through around my nose, so I am going to build it up a little bit. And the key with this concealer, I feel, in order for you to be able to get a little bit more coverage, is just really letting it dry down and then blend it out. And now I'm just blending it out with a sponge again on the second layer. I do feel like I have a little bit more coverage with a brush than a sponge. However, it is not a huge difference. I do feel like this concealer is a solid borderline medium coverage. It's not really a full medium coverage. I think that with the Givenchy, just in case you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it also down below. I did do a whole entire review on that concealer. I do feel like I got a little bit more coverage using that concealer than I am with this one right here. Okay, am I getting coverage? Yes, I'm definitely getting some coverage. I do feel like my under eyes look really nice and brighten. It looks and it feels really nice and hydrating. Um, but I don't feel like it is a solid medium coverage. I do feel like it's leaning more to a light borderline medium coverage. You cannot build it up more than a medium coverage, that's for sure. You will never get a full coverage with this concealer. If you do not have a lot of darkness under your eyes, then you are going to be fine with this concealer, especially if you want something like hydrating, radiant, but it's not too radiant like the Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Um, and if you want something that is going to be 
it feels lightweight it feels like it's giving you enough coverage for everyday makeup i think that this concealer is looking really nice all right guys so it is 1 45 in the afternoon i am going to just finish off my makeup with you guys and i'll show you the final look Feel uninvited Left home in West LA I'm not excited So uninspired On my way to play the bay While you're alone This girl's a wonder She loves me as yeah, she needs to know All right, guys so this is the final look super simple super easy nothing too much just because we're really focusing on the skin and of course on the concealer today so let me bring you in closer so you guys can see the concealer all right guys so here again is the final look i am going to check with you guys one more time and then at the end of the day when i finish putting my little baby down for a for the night and yeah so far the concealer is actually looking pretty good i do feel like it's just a little bit too light for me so i am going to try to see if i can purchase a different shade i do uh, like the fact that it's a little bit lighter just because it gives me that brightness in the center of my face but at the same time i need to purchase a new concealer that is a little bit closer to my skin tone just because I do feel like it gives me a better coverage um especially for the under eyes but yeah that is it that is all that I have so far I will check back with you guys later on today yeah. Bye. hey guys all right so it is 5 27 in the afternoon right now and here's how the skin looks So here is the concealer as you can see it's looking pretty good it's not creasing or anything today I can still see a little bit of the darkness that I was talking to you guys earlier today but I mean other than that the it's looking pretty fresh pretty fine what do you guys think but yeah I'll check back with you guys later on tonight all right guys so it is 9 56 at night and here we are checking in for the last time let's go ahead and get closer to the skin and just take a quick look so i haven't touched up my skin or anything everything is exactly how i first applied it and here is the skin the under eyes as well All right, guys, so let's go ahead and talk about the Very Valentino 24-Hour Wear Hydrating Concealer. This concealer, I am very much impressed with the formula, the longevity of this concealer. It is absolutely stunning. Now, any concealer that I wear, it is going to start building up or just settling into my fine lines by the end of the day or maybe after 8-hour wear. However, this concealer is showing no buildup whatsoever in any of the fine lines that I have under eye, under my eyes or around my mouth where I apply the concealer also on my forehead there is no building up there is no settling into any of my fine lines so there's no creasing with this concealer which is absolutely insane because again any concealer that I wear I am going to see some creasing some build up on my fine lines especially I do have a really nice big fine line here and here as well and I do not see any of the concealer settling into any of my fine lines which it is absolutely insane to me it is absolutely wearing just so fantastic throughout the whole entire day now I have mentioned several times throughout my video that the shade is definitely throwing me off because it is a little bit too light for my liking so I'm super happy to be trying this concealer again with a deeper shade just because I know I know that it's going to make a difference in the inner 
taking a part of my eye the formula is absolutely stunning super lightweight the longevity on the under eyes is insane the makeup just looks so natural and so beautiful it feels again super lightweight hydrating it does not feel like it is mattifying my under eyes I do got to say that you know comparing it to the Givenchy one that I just reviewed on my channel I do got to say that that one does have a little bit more coverage comparing it to this one but this one is wearing absolutely beautiful so i do want to compare them side by side maybe um in a shorts video or for my instagram so if you guys are not following me in any other of my social medias please do because especially tiktok that is where i'm trying to post the most just because it's so much fun <laughs> over there all right guys so that is it for this video for my first impressions slash a review a wear test on this new concealer from valentino i hope that it was helpful especially if you had your eye on this concealer and maybe you were curious to see it in action i hope that i was able to help you with that thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your love your time and support please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already and i will see you next time